welcome to my channel um, I love staying fit so I do exercises try to do it three four times a day hopefully you can join me and also will be joining with me is my pet Leo my baby okay and in between he'll be bothering me to play with his toy so please bear with me and let's do and let's go ahead and get started okay uh, first <clears throat> Today we're focusing on lower back, hip down. Let's loosen it first a little bit. So big hip circles. Two, three, big 360, okay? As much as you can move, it's gonna lose it. Four, five, six. See, look, he's pointing to his uh, toy to me. Mm -hmm. And he looks at that. Ah. Uh, eleven. The other way. Ah. Oh. Ten and eleven. Okay. Now that the hips are a little loose, let's start. Let's start with. join you during this thing when you do exercise now when you lift your legs make sure they're like sideways so that you're working the side hip your brain functionality and it helps uh, what do you call you don't get uh, uh, this thing the thing that you forget memory loss and all it helps in that I just read it I'll put a link in the video uh, below the video okay so uh, these are the side now let's go and work the hamstrings So come on all fours, okay, legs flexed, this one flexed, this one pointing, uh, just do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Now flex your legs. Keep it on the uh, tabletop only. Just stretch it. One. Do a little bit knee taps. Okay, just stand. So you know you alternate between uh, being on the ground and this, so it gives my wrist a little break. You know, so let's do that. So keep your hands at um, your waist level. Bend. Don't move your hands. Passions like that, uh, like I, I like of astronomy, like reading news about astronomy. I go on Twitter and read all the news about astronomy, Instagram, I follow the NASA page, all the beautiful pictures they have, especially with the new ones, the James Webb telescope, the images that it sends of distance planet. You know, the other day I saw something very cool. Uh, like it was, you could hear the sound of Mars. Like, imagine you guys, we are sitting here millions of miles away and you can hear the sound of Mars. You know, send of send of Mars. Over. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, I loved it. Okay. Now, next, let's do a little bit for our calf muscles. Okay. So, just stand this way, like knees bent. Just lift your legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other day, I saw a very close up image of Saturn, uh, our planet, and on its pole, 
it's a hexagon shape perfect hexagon shape you know i saw it on the nasa website probably or the space handle of uh, twitter somewhere i'm like it's so cool you can get a close-up of uh, uh, you can get a close-up of uh, distant planets because of off, uh, you can hear what's going on in the other planets it's like so cool so cool I just love it okay change the position regular like straight now knee straight so you should be able to see I don't know if you can see my calf muscles there I have to do something with the lighting such passions like me if he has what it is you know it's fascinating stars astronomy is fascinating for me I'm not sure what fascinates you but whatever it is please do mention in the comments yes my god Leo is looking at me like that as if oh and I played with him so many times right Okay, so this is done. Now, laying down. Or before we lay down, let's do some lunges. Okay. Oh. Two, three. Make sure your legs are properly positioned. Four, five. And make sure you're not moving forward. You know, it's not this, it's this. So, see the difference? Your this leg stays more or less constant. So, this is not a lunge, okay? This. I read another interesting news today, but again, the study population was uh, pretty small and not uh, different varied, but it was kind of discouraging news that, that intermittent fasting that people do is not as effective as we thought. That was in the, somebody at Harvard College did this study. Again, but then the population was not diverse, eating habits and everything. So you cannot rely on that because people swear on intermittent fasting, like it works for them wonders. So if you're doing it, please don't give up. 
where the push is coming from like and pulling yourself where it is coming from Now let's do our inner thigh. Now what I do generally uh, when I do my inner thighs is I put a weight around my ankle. That gives the muscle a little bit more, uh, uh, what do you call it? More pressure, that puts more pressure on the muscles. Gives you a little more workout in the same amount of time. But if you don't have ankle weights, you know, forget about it. I'm not gonna put it, but I do generally put it. So come on your elbows or lay down entirely. One hand up. Make sure you're not sideways. Good. Right on the side. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Any astronomy fans over there, please comment, right? And let's chat about astronomy. I would love to know more about what you know. You know, um, I, uh, on the NASA website uh, or on Twitter, there was one thing about how a star was swallowed completely by a black hole and it was amazing though it was not a real picture an artist impression or something but it was so cool to see that lovely i loved it i enjoy seeing those videos of galaxies and stars and nebulas absolutely oh, amazing let's do it on the other hand oh. one two how many of you uh, gone to see either a moonrise or a sunrise? So I live in New England, uh, here in US. So here, the summers are uh, for only for a short duration, you know. So I try to make the most of it. So whenever there is full moon and the weather is nice, I try and go to the beach and see the moonrise, it's amazing, especially when it's super moon. Oh my God, it looks like a red ball of fire, you know? If any of you haven't seen it, please go and see, please, please, do not uh, miss it. Just watch, go and watch moonrise from anywhere, especially when it's super moon, okay? I'll 
I'll let you know tomorrow when when is the next super moon in this year. So you can go and plan. Uh, yeah, so this was about inner thighs. And then um now just do simple raises, leg raises. And uh, make sure your legs are like flexed. Okay. Two three. Even the sunrise, my goodness, so beautiful, the most beautiful thing ever. Especially when, you know, this twilight, like when the sun is not out, just the lights come. It's amazing. I went to a very famous lighthouse nearby to watch the sunrise. It's beautiful, my goodness. Amazing. Like I can never get bored. I've been multiple times, but every time it looks equally beautiful. Like the moon, the sun. They never lose their beauty, the stars. Amazing, amazing. I love it. Let's do the other side. So far, he realized mom is not playing with him. And I'm a big animal lover, you know that. I love animals so much. Any animal. I love cats, I love dogs. Though I have only dogs as pets, but yeah. Make sure your legs are flexed. Again, if you're wearing ankle weight, you get more exercise out of the same amount of time.
So what are your plans after this exercise? Reward yourself Sunday night. You know, what I think or what I feel, it may may not be true, but when you reward yourself after doing something, your memory registers. Just like how you would train dogs, like when they do set, when you ask them to do something and then they do it, you reward them with some treat or something. Same thing, I think we should do it to ourselves too. Our memory, our brain registers. Oh, this, after this, it was a happy feeling. <laughs> I don't know if you can train humans that way, but just yourself. Like, okay, I did good job. I did exercises. So, I should reward myself. So, reward yourself with something that you like. Well, again, it shouldn't be too much. A little bit, okay? Uh, one last exercise and then we'll do some stretches, okay? Like, we did a lot of, come on all four. Uh, generally what I do because uh, my wrist hurts, I make a fist and then put the fist. Instead of like, you know, putting my palm, I put a fist. So it's less pressure on my wrist, okay? Turn one leg back, just go up. One, two, three. for the exercises let's do some stretches not a lot so we just said just make half it quickly here okay and then ooh. so first stretching your thighs there are two ways that you could do it sit on your ankles or the back of your legs and just yourself a little bit back. You can take support of your hand if you want to. If you don't want to, it's okay. But make sure you're feeling the stretch here in your thigh muscles. Okay. The back. Wow. Put your leg. Just let's do back and forth. Feels good. So when I flex, I can feel the stretch in my calves. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Okay. Next, touch your hand here or till wherever you can. And just try to go as much as down as you can. Even if you can do only this much, it's fine. Doesn't matter. This exercise you can do standing too. Actually, I'll do it standing. This is just because I was sitting and doing it. Now, quick stretch in the thigh in the inner groin area. What you could do is. 
Let's do a butterfly first. So join your both your feet, hold it, and just flap your wings. Flap your wings. <laughs> okay. Make sure where you're feeling this stretch. Focus. your head to here whatever and go only again <clears throat> as much as you can go no compulsion nothing no force your comfort level just go here that's it i can feel the stretch in my inner thighs here chest area here. If you want, you can just keep it, stack your legs one top of another and then just stretch it. I feel stretch a little bit here on this side too. So that's why I'm doing this pose. Let's do it on the other side. So the other knee is touching the ground. One hand, you're holding the knee, and the other hand, this other hand, trying to touch the ground on the opposite side. So I can feel the stretch here. One leg straight, one leg a little bent, go a little forward, you should feel the stretch in the calf muscles. If you have a wall, you can rest your hands again against the wall and use your body weight as a pressure. Now 
last promise last stretch or workout so you can do ankle twist rotate your ankles for support. The goal is to rotate the ankles. enjoyed it uh, please comment if you would like to see some more workouts from other polypaths and all and have a good day good night